Hey there everybody, I'm Austin awesome NES, and today I wanted to bring you a, another deck profile on uh, this, the same Spiral deck as before, except uh, there's been quite a few more changes made to it, and I actually brought this to an Indianapolis uh, regional. Now, I actually recently uploaded a vlog over that uh, regional. Uh, I didn't really spend a lot of time talking about the regional, and I wish I would have spent more with it. Uh, more than half that video, actually, I think ended up being... Or, no, actually, it was only like the two minutes at the end was about the zoo. But um, basically, I just wanted to show off what the deck looked like uh, and talk a little bit about what it was able to do, what it wasn't able to do. Um, one thing I wished I would have done while I was there is actually invest in a Firewall Dragon that they had uh, marked down pretty low for about $25. That's actually uh, that's a really good price for a card like that. I think it would have really helped make a lot of different plays uh, that I could have gone into and just never was able to because I was missing that Firewall. That's okay, because uh, the numbers still weren't really that great at the end. I think I won. I ended up winning a total of seven duels, and I lost eight. Uh, one opponent didn't actually show up, so that may have affected the numbers. I, I, <laughs> probably in a negative sense. I went there as more a uh, casual competitor. I, I didn't really expect to win a whole lot. I just wanted to play and see what I could do. And uh, I'm just going to show you uh, the deck. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and show off the monsters. I've got three copies of Super Agent. Followed by, I play three copies of Tough. I know a lot of people don't do that. Uh, I actually, since I don't have very many hand traps and uh, ways to destroy things, I thought Tough was a very good form of removal. Uh, he usually helps me out pretty well. Uh, and then here's our, we have five one ofs for the Spirals. There's one copy of Sleeper, one copy of Quick Fix, one copy of Master Plan, one copy of Last Resort, and of course, one copy of Drone. Now that'll do it for our Spiral Monsters. Next we're moving into Kaijus. I played two copies of Ghidorah, the Mystery Dust Kaiju. Uh, I played this one because it has 2700 attack and that's something that if I need to destroy it by battle, um, I can use Double Helix or any of the Super Agent cards uh, equipped with a fully armed. And then even um, Sleeper or Tough will easily get rid of them as well. And now I've got one copy of Destrudo, the Lost Dragon's Frizen. Now that's a pretty simple one just to get into the synchros. At the time, I was running Iron Dragon Tiamaton. That might not have been the best uh, card to use for the situations, but it helped me out in one game. And I, <laughs> I know it's a little bit too situational. He's actually coming out uh, as I start continue to work on the deck. And then I've got the two hand traps. I've got one Effect Veiler and one Ghost Ogre. Now on to spells. Obviously I've got the one copy of Spiral Resort being it limited. And I've got a Pseudo Space in order to replace it once I lose it. And three copies of Terraforming because you really need to get there. Next up I have some Spiral Gears. Two copies of Spiral Gear Big Red. I felt it was pretty easy to uh, use some abusing on that for um, Quick Fix and continue to use his effect off of that. As well as just any other time I lost a Spiral Monster and decided I needed it back or for a quick, quick Link material. Plus I've got two copies of Fully Armed. I like this card. I, I've seen a lot of decks don't run Fully Armed at all. But uh, I appreciate the, uh, the attack boost. And also, non-targeting banishing uh, helps out against some monsters that you know can't be targeted and stuff, or just that I, spirals have a difficult time de dealing with. Next up, we've got one copy of Spiral Mission Assault. Draw power. That's pretty much it. Then I've got one reinforcement of the army in order to get to those super agent plays a little faster. Pot of Desires, of course, some more draw power. Double Summon, a little helpful. Called by the Graves to deal with hand traps and other monster effects. And a Dark Hole, because I don't have a Raigeki. Now that'll do it for the spells. Let's go ahead and get into the trap. I run one Spiral Trap card, and that's one copy of Spiral Mission Rescue. Uh, it's pretty nice in order to get those spirals back to your hand while it's on the field, and then once it leaves... I can go ahead and banish it and get another, or special summon another from the grave. Adding to that draw power I was speaking of a minute ago, I ran two copies of Reckless Greed. 
I found it actually works all right in this deck because I'm searching the deck constantly with all the other card effects that I've got to search off of. So missing two draw phases usually isn't too bad, especially if um, you have all the pieces that you know you need and you get to them right there off of Reckless Greed and you can OTK off of that sometimes. Every other trap is a one of in here. I've got one copy of Mirror Force, one copy of Bottomless Trap Hole, one copy of Torrential Tribute, one Solemn Judgment, and one Solemn Warning. A lot of those traps are meant to just stop opponent plays. Uh, usually worked out for me pretty well. The Solemn cards helped out for sure. But let's go ahead and move on to the extra deck. As typical, I played two copies of Spiral Double Helix. Then we get into our Nightmare cards. I ran... Nightmare Goblin, Nightmare Mermaid, Nightmare Cerberus, Nightmare Phoenix, and at the time I was borrowing a Nightmare Griffin. I don't actually have it, like I said, I was borrowing it, and uh, that's, uh, I used it one, one game, it, I didn't need it too much, but um, it's a cool card. Finishing up with the links, we have one copy of Decode Talker and one copy of Underclock Taker. Like I said, having that Firewall Dragon would have definitely helped a lot, but uh, had to play without it. Now on to the Synchros. It's just the last three cards I've got in the uh, extra deck here. I've got Clear Wing Synchro Dragon, Black Rose Dragon, and Ancient Fairy. Ancient Fairy helped me out a lot. Uh, it's banned now. Um, the tournament I went to was still using, it was still under the prior ban list. Uh, and he got banned the Monday afterwards. Really sucks, because he really helped out that deck. Um, so, rip Ancient Fairy Dragon, he will be missed. Of course, that does mean you uh, can't play him any longer. So, I have taken him out of the deck. And uh, haven't found an extra deck card to replace him yet. Now, moving on to the side deck. I had a Mind Control in there. One for one, in case I ever decided I needed it. It usually doesn't work out for me. I know a lot of people run one for one, but I just, I never found much of a use for it. Uh, I ran one Spiral Mission Recapture. One Spiral Gear Utility Wire. Two copies of Cursed Steel of the Forbidden Spell. Uh, now that one was actually, in case I ran into a Layer of Darkness deck, uh, Spirals struggle a little bit against Layer of Darkness. And, um, or at least mine do. So I figured that if I've got that, I've usually got a spell in my hand. I can discard and stop them from using Layer of Darkness for the rest of the duel. Uh, it's pretty helpful if you run into it, but I didn't even, I didn't even duel a Layer of Darkness deck. I had another Bottomless Trap Hole in there. Placed a Mind Crush once. And I did get to put Red Reboot in the deck at one point. Um, I never played an Altergeist deck, which is usually what I would be best against, but I th I played a Chainless Burn deck, and uh, that stopped him for a turn, I still ended up losing to him. I just didn't know how to <laughs> play around that. It was pretty pretty difficult. But that leaves me with the three monsters that I have in my uh, side deck here. Just in case I needed another Kaiju, I put Radiant, the multidimensional Kaiju, in there. Two hand traps, one being Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. And Ghost Bell, who I opted against a dinosaur player. Now that does it for the deck profile. I just wanted to quickly talk about the decks that I faced and why I lost and stuff like that. Uh, match one was against a Mech Knight, Mech Knight Nightmare player. Uh, I just got totally obliterated by him. I've never played against a Mech Knight deck. I didn't entirely know how they operated. And uh, he almost extra linked me at one point, and that was... He, he was pretty good at what he was doing, and he, uh, he filled the board pretty fast and uh, really, really got to me with him. So I lost both games against him. Moving on to match two, I played against a six samurai deck. Uh, I didn't really struggle with that so much. I paid a lot of life points to end up negating a lot of his stuff, mostly with the solemn cards. Because uh, he, he really kept going for the, those Xyz plays and special summoning things back, and... Um, I just knew that if all of that would have gone off, he would have started negating my own effects, and I just didn't want to play with that. So, played a lot of solemn cards, ended up winning both of those games. Moving into match three, I played against a dinosaur player. Um, 
I know how to how to defeat dinosaurs. I just I misplayed a lot, especially when I let something happen that shouldn't have because I had a card that was obviously uh, Spiral Resort was on the field preventing my spiral cards from being targeted. He played a card that targeted and neither of us caught it, and it was just way too late to do anything about it in the first game. And in game two, I totally misplayed. I made a play where I could have continued on uh, going into some other Link monsters, and I just stopped, and I shouldn't have done that. So I O2. The next one was quite interesting. In match four, I played against a Photon Galaxy player. Uh, his first game, he totally bricked, so I just OTK'd him, actually. Uh, and then in game game two of that, he uh, he started making some pretty decent plays and eventually went into an Xyz monster. I think it was uh, one of the Photon Galaxy Dragons, whatever. Uh, and I just had Solemn set, and I was able to stop him there and ran into him after that to for game. Uh, I let him show me what he could have done if I didn't Solemn, though. And I think I probably would have lost <laughs> if I hadn't have been able to stop it there. Uh, lots of rank ups started happening and big monsters on the field, and he just kept going. It was it was really neat, but um, I got him both games there. The next one was actually my only meta or meta relevant game that I actually played for that whole day, uh, next to the night Mech Knights or whatever. But this uh, this guy was playing True Draco and. Masterpiece came out a few times. I didn't really think Masterpiece was too much of a problem for Spirals most of the time. But um, those those trap cards that he's able to destroy back and forth with Dragonic Diagram, that was not any fun. And uh, I actually won by deck out in the second game. Uh, I lost the first one pretty late game. We had, we had long pretty long matches, or pretty long duels. And uh, the first game lasted for a while. I ended up losing. Second game, I decked him out. And uh, third game, I got I got beaten pretty fast in the third game. Game six was pretty crazy. Actually, he played like a chainless barrel burn deck or something. He, uh, the guy played a lot of secret barrel and secret blast or stuff like that. Uh, and just every time I had cards in my hand or cards in the field and everything, I just lost a ton of life points from it. And something that ended up happening, I played uh, Pot of Desires and both of my Reckless Greeds in one turn. So I had a lot of cards in my hand. And uh, he was actually able to activate a card to take crazy advantage off of all the cards that I had in my hand. I had like nine cards. And uh, I I was just lost in that turn because it burned me for cards in my hand plus the cards I controlled. And uh, it was just not good at all. I actually ended up going uh, zero and two in that one. So pretty bad for me. My seventh opponent actually didn't show up to the, to the, the duel. So I auto won. Uh, I think that actually kind of hurts my score really so moving on to eight my final match was actually against a monarch player uh his deck is structured completely different from mine focused solely on the light and dark uh, monarchs and vassals and stuff it's pretty neat to watch uh, i ended up winning both of those games uh, both of the duels in a row and uh the second game almost we went we almost went into time and uh we just we played long matches there he played he played a very stally monarchs um, I don't think it was supposed to, the way he made it sound, but it just, it stalled really hard. So that will do it on the deck profile. I want to show off a couple of the cards that I'm going to be experimenting with later on. I want to get, uh, like I said, a Firewall Dragon will be put in this at some point, hopefully. Um, and then I pulled a Nightmare Corruptor Idly at that tournament, uh, later that day. And uh, that'll, that'll probably be going in there. Plus, I want to experiment with some of the Sky Strikers being placed into the deck. I've heard some people are able to work with it. I've got to see what others are doing first before I try to mess with that. Because I don't really see an align any kind of alignment or how that could work for now. So, I'll just um, see you guys in the next video. See ya!